Hey, welcome to YouTube. So, I've been trying to work on something, uh, a little mock, uh, talking with my friend uh, Brick Sergeant on different live streams with Brooks Bricks, and we were talking about the mobile crane here, and how on the back of it had this little hitch component, and got me thinking. Okay, this crane really doesn't have, it's got ex extending arms, right? But there's no, like, when you look at a real world crane, there's a pad that normally goes under it. Well, if we look at the crane, there's no real spot for it, like for the tool chest and all that, or additional tool stuff uh, to work with. So, I decided, as part of it, to build a little trailer. So it's also got its safety gear. So we'll take a look through it. But it's a nice little trailer that I built out, I think. So you've got a lot of different components to it. Uh, first up, you've got, if we take a look at it from the top view, right? Um, it's got the pads. So when you're looking at an actual crane, they've got pads that they put down underneath the feet. Uh, safety cones, right? Because you are always... These guys are always working within a safe environment. Uh, put some extra tools in because you might never know. You might need to use a cutter, uh, wrench to fix some other stuff, or a uh, shovel to deal with uh, other pieces. And then a couple of little uh, canisters here. So if they've got to need some different uh, lubricants or whatever to help with the crane or help with the different equipment. Uh, and then a couple of other things I added on here. So first up, I built a generator. Because you never know, you may have to have some sort of work done on it. So let's take the generator off. Put the trailer on a second. So yeah, it's just a simple little little generator. Let me try to get that in focus. That I built. So you got your different plugs. You can check your voltages, check your different meters and stuff. Now, if something does break on the job site and you need to do some additional work, I built out a little welder. So again, talking with uh, Brick Sergeant during the uh, live streams with Brooks Bricks, um, worked up this little welding unit. And I'm going to do a little how-to video on both the generator and the welder. But it's just a little spot welder. Hey, we've got some sort of work that needs to be done. we got a spot welder on site. Little gauges to make sure, hey, I've got my right temperatures starting up the unit. Can be used probably with the generator itself, or probably will be used with the generator. Um, so it was a quickie little build to build it out. Um, the generator, it's, so let's take a look at the whole construction of the trail itself. Oh, and I used uh, just a regular container here just to hold the tools and the pads and stuff. It's a fairly straightforward build. Uh, it's in hindsight, I could have used just an eight by eight plate for the actual base of the trailer, so you can see right here where the gray is. Uh, instead, I went with uh, two four by eight gray plates, um, and then just used a couple of uh, eight uh, two by eight plates just to hold it across. I uh, found this, I had this in my parts inventory, it's one of those little uh, trailer tongues. So when you're trying to do trailers for people that have used trailers before, you want to make sure that you've got your weight evenly distributed. So that's kind of why I've got the generator on one side, the welder on the other, and kind of try to spread the weight out a little bit. Uh, this is just an area so that they need to do some uh, workshop work or whatever. They've got another space to use. Um, it's a fun little build. It was a quick little build, but I think it's something that's going to really enhance uh, the mobile crane itself. So put all these little parts back in, reconnect it up uh, from a height perspective. So if you can see here at the tongue where the trailer connect, I mean the, the height's well height. I would have probably liked it if I had the blue wheel hubs would have probably swapped those out but i like the wheels i chose and again it's got marker lights in the back 
So uh, if there was wiring set up, you could, they could, somebody was falling behind it, they could see that the crane was breaking and uh, through the trailer as well. So I hope you like this little uh, review of my, my little mock trailer that I built up for the mobile crane. Uh, again, this is off the, the mobile crane itself is the City 2022 line, uh, the stuff that came out in January. So, again, I think it really needed this trailer, and I'm glad I built it. Thanks for watching.